It is Saturday morning, and this is what I'm having for breakfast Start today. Start the day out with this big, huge, delicious pear, and it is so big that I think it's going to keep me for a little bit this morning, and then when I get hungry, I will have this zero point sandwich, which I have on the, um, I think they're Aura Wheat Sandwich Thins, and then I've got one egg and a quarter cup of the egg whites and like a, a tablespoon of the fat-free cheese, and that's gonna be my uh, zero point breakfast. Everybody, it is Saturday morning, and I am <clears throat> off to do my Thanksgiving shopping today. Um, <clears throat> so, okay, the first place I'm gonna stop is I'm gonna get a simply approved skinny latte at Starbucks, and then I'm going to eat my breakfast sandwich. Um, cause I'm starting to get kind of hungry. It's about 1040 and I'm supposed to meet my, one of my girlfriends for lunch, um, <clears throat> after I get done with my shopping and she said something about maybe Mexican food. So I'm thinking that might be good to do simply filling on. And then plus I'm eating my breakfast a little late because <clears throat> I don't want to be famished when I go to lunch and then I'll make some bad choices. I'm kicking around doing a vlogmas, so like a vlog every day in December, and I don't know if you would be interested in that or not. Um, I'd be probably showing a lot more of <laughs> our family life, and I'm not quite sure how comfortable I am with that, but um, it might be fun. So let me know if you're interested in seeing that, and um, hope I don't scare away any, any viewers. But anyway, let's talk about Simply Filling. How do I like it so far? I really, really like it. Um, one of the reasons why is because you can really fit a whole lot of whole foods in, um, whole food focus, and have zero points. Um, that's the first reason why. Second reason, uh, so first reason is, you know, I really ha can focus on bringing up my nutrition even more than I have been, which I could have done all along, but for some reason it pushes you in that fo focus because of the zero points, you know, the things that are um, just limitless on li simply filling. Number two, I'm never hungry. Well, scratch that. I'm never starving. I get hungry because without all the, f you know, the higher fats, uh, fat amount, I do get hungrier more often. Um, I, I want to say at the times that I'm supposed to be hungry. So it's like I had breakfast. When lunch comes, I will be hungry and I will eat lunch. Uh, whereas before, I could, if I have a higher fat in my diet, I could go for one meal a day and be okay. Um, so that does carry you. But, you know, I. One thing that I noticed is that when I eat this way with Simply Filling, I have all, all my, you know, my, um, I don't know, lentils or brown rice or whatever and greens or, you know what I mean, my mung beans and my, my just nourishing bowl or whatever. It's like, I don't have any craving after that. I mean, I'm like totally cool for a while. There's no sugar craving. There's no looking for something sweet to end the meal with, even though I have that you know, jello pudding once in a while. It's like, I don't really need it, but I made it. And so I'm like, eh, that sounds good. I find it very flexible. I find Simply Filling very flexible for myself. Um, I think I needed something to step in and say, you know what, limit down the fats, cat. And at the same time, number three, the, the third reason why I really like it so much is that I think I needed a break from having to count every single item that I was taking in. And you know what I mean? Oh, I'm having this. Let me count it. Oh, I'm having that. Let me count it. It's like I started to get lazy where I would keep the count on my video or I'd keep it in my head or I'd keep it in my written journal which seemed easier but having to look up the point first and then put it in I got a little lazy so I knew what I was having but it was I was starting to get a little lazy with you putting it in the app and so I'm like you know what I'm starting to lose my love and fervor for doing every single point right and so <clears throat> I'm thinking if I get used to doing simply filling and I know what I can have eventually that's limitless 
I can eventually do that and then if I don't put it in the tracker I already know that it's zero points and I can have it right I mean I, I normally know what smart points are too but um, that I use but sometimes I don't I'm not so sure anyway um, it just felt like I had more given myself more freedom and right now during the holidays where there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on a lot of different stuff going on I just need one less stress I think in order to prepare for the other upcoming unforeseeable stressors which by the way I mean you know we were I was uh, taking my son to one of his classes um, the other day day before yesterday and we get in the car and we start going and we had to go right back home because I had a flat tire well it turns out that we needed to buy all four tires for the car so we got a deal we went to Costco it was good but it was an unforeseeable expense and we got a great deal because it was about oh, I want to say about 500 bucks you know for all four tires which wasn't too bad but at the same time it's like I wasn't counting on that was a stressor that needed to just be taken care of and you know there the holidays are going to be riddled with unforeseen stuff so one of the things that I didn't want to have to do was if I found myself stressing a little bit over counting points I thought you know what maybe this will give me a little bit of a break All right, so I'm back and we had, I had a bean burrito, no cheese, and I did not touch the chips on the table. And I had a drink of water uh, for, to drink. Um, and that's what I had. So I think that I'm okay with the beans, um, but I think I have to count half of that tortilla because I'm taking half home, but um, that tortilla is not whole grain. It was a white flour tortilla, and I'm sure it's not on the Simply Filling list, but I'll get to the root of the bottom of that and um, right, and see how many points that was. But I think I did really well, considering. So I'm glad with the choices I made. I'm, a, I'm very satiated, um, and you know, I'm just, I don't even know if I'm gonna need much for dinner or not, but we'll see. I think that with the carbs that I've had today though so far I definitely need to do a workout <laughs> this this evening or this afternoon or something so um, so we'll see what happens with that it is Sunday morning and we are getting ready for church and um, I think what I'm gonna do is probably have one of these pears for breakfast and probably a little cup of blackberries and um, I know I should have some protein or something like that, but I think I'm gonna hold it off for lunch because I don't know what we're doing. And so um, I kind of want to wait, if I can. I don't know, sometimes when I have fruit, it just makes me more hungry, so. Nice good morning. See. Okay, so it is Sunday morning and my hubby and I are talking about um, smart points versus simply filling and that kind of thing. And my husband's been watching me explain simply filling a bit with him to him. And he has just decided that he would like to do it with me for a while. So what were you saying to me about the smart points? Well, yeah. And smart I, points are great. Smart like points them, are awesome. I, I did it for about a month. Simply filling latte, sugar free. <laughs> Almond milk, <laughs> decaf. <laughs> okay, go on. Sorry. Yeah, well, I, and then uh, I started um, getting a little frustrated because my choices I'd make during the day would keep pushing me over into that. That I, I started having to take the weekly points, right? Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, which was fine. I mean, they're there for a reason. But man, a few times I was knocking out those weekly points, and and. Uh, just the frustration of it, I, I started uh, backing off, um, and before you know it, I'm not doing it anymore. So. Did you at some point feel like, I've already, you know, in the day, you're snacking, and then you're like, I've already messed it up, so I might as well just oh, yeah, do and then, yeah, then I stopped <laughs> even counting them, because, you know, right. it'd just be a day or two a week, I'd say, well, I'm not going to, I'm not even counting today. Um, I love smart points, and I think I will go back to it, but um, at some point, but right now, I really am enjoying... 
um, the Simply Fill and getting to know the foods that are free on Simply Filling I think is really exciting and so um, and I think that he's gonna like that too because honestly the um, when he was packing uh, pre-packing and pre measuring and, and preparing for the week it was all Simply Filling stuff I mean he was packing he packs steamed broccoli, sweet potatoes, chicken breasts, I mean all the stuff that is simply filling and he lives on it and he loves that. He'll take fruit in the morning um, so I'm going to make him um, some of the zero point breakfast sandwiches that I've been having because those really keep me and normally he would like like a McDonald's egg white delight, right? Two. <clears throat> Two of them, which is 16 points if you're on Simply Filling. But if you do the ones that we make at home, if you have those, those are zero points. So why not just, I'm just going to make a whole bunch at the beginning of Can the I week. Can I still have two? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> we'll see. I think so because on Simply Filling you can eat until you're satisfied and that's it, you know. And they really want you to listen to the signals so they, want, they don't want you to eat until you're like stuffed, you know what I mean? So if one and a half does it for you, then do one and a half, you know what I mean? But um, just kind of like be in tune to how you're feeling with that. But anyway, I think it's exciting. I really didn't um, expect it at all, but um, I think that's great. Now, of course, Thanksgiving's coming up, and um, we're just going to have a nice day that day. We're not going to be, like, really worrying about things that day. We're probably... Yeah, I'm not going to be a slave to the data. I mean, you know. No, but... I am going to try to make some things healthier, but not too healthy because he doesn't like that. He doesn't like when I try to make things too healthy and it doesn't it totally changes it for him and it takes the joy out of it for him so but I'll try to sneak it in where I can I got it like a million Ziplocs because I want to give as many leftovers away as possible so I want to have leftovers because it's nice to have a sandwich you know after that he really looks forward to it um, but it's also good to share and it, yeah uh, that Thanksgiving is about sharing and then and honestly we don't need to have Thanksgiving again for another week. I mean, Not that's either. like feasting the same way for another week. Of course you're going to gain weight. Yeah, you know, it's a one day thing. That's what it's meant and, to be. And set some bad habits up. And... Right, because if you do that for a week or even three or four days afterward, you're talking about it is like two weeks before you go, oh, I, you know, before you even realize that you're that far off of the track. And then it's that much harder to get back. So um, cutting it, the shorter you cut it, you know, the, the better off you'll be. So, and then you can enjoy it to the, you know, as much of an extent as you can on that day. There's no reason why you can't. Um, anyway, I'm glad you decided to do that with me. It's nice because I was kind of like doing it by myself, which is fine. Um, but I think with him being a guy and with his metabolism, um, the... The pounds, I mean, I think he looks great, but he wants a few pounds off, and I think it's just going to fall right off with him with simply filling. Yeah, I think we should bet. <clears throat> no, you would definitely win. I mean, my metabolism and everything, plus I'm in menopause, so it's like I've got stuff stacked against me, so. <laughs> but I'm, I mean, I am beating it uh, victoriously. I am kicking it, um, and so. And you inspired me. <laughs> Yay, yeah. that's awesome. All right, so I will have to have him watch a little bit more of you guys and get a little bit more inspired. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. I love you guys a lot. Thanks for listening. Bye.